How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to RoboZone, and I can't believe it. Just two more shows before this year's version of the state championships, and for the first time, being held at Saginaw Valley State University. As many as four fields going at once, it's going to be epic. RoboZone is presented by First in Michigan. I'm your host, Lauren Plant. All be at states, so will these two gentlemen right here, two co-founders of First in Michigan, both here to break it down. Of Killer Bees fame, I give you Jim Zondag. Jim, how are you? Man? Ready for the championships, Lauren. That's right, coming up very fast. And formally fronting the Las Gorillas, he is Dan Kimura. Dan, how are we? Doing well. Dan recently picked up an award for best hair. He actually has it with him. I gotta say, I'm a little jealous. <laughs> but I understand. All right, before we get going here, talking Howell, Lake Superior State, Kentwood, and Troy District action, for you newbies or those who need a quick refresher, Jim, please give the good people an understanding of how the game of Steamworks is played. Steamworks is a game, three on three, head-to-head -head robot action. There are three ways to score. The first is by scoring balls. They're five inch wiffle balls. We call them fuel. Balls are worth one point when you score them in the autonomous mode each. They're worth one third of that when you score them in the tele-operated mode. Second, there are gears. You bring them to the airships, which are the large structures on the field. They get brought up the lifts and then they are used to activate the rotors. There are up to four rotors worth 40 points a piece that get progressively more difficult. Third and final way to score is hanging. This is when ropes are dropped from the airship in the final 30 seconds of the match and robots can climb these ropes to touch the touchpad for 50 points per robot. All right, thank you, sir. Let's get into week five action in first robotics competition here in Michigan. And we begin in Howell, which did not disappoint. 